In this video, I will review Emergent AI, also known as Emergent.sh. It's an AI platform that aims to go from concept to full stack app in mere minutes. We'll cover what it promises, what actually works and what doesn't, and whether it's a fit depending on how you build. So make sure to watch this video until the end so that you can get a good idea of if it's a good tool for you. So first, what it claims to offer and who it's for. Emergent AI pitches itself as a team of invisible developers you talk to. You describe your app like a CRM with login, dashboard and Stripe integration, and it sends back a working deployed version. Multi-agent AI handles planning, coding, debugging, deployment all automatically. It's positioned for solo founders, early stage teams and non-developer creators seeking quick prototypes without writing a line of code. Now in the meantime, I'll just show you kind of what it can do. For example, if I go clone Netflix and then hit enter, you can also have different models and connect to GitHub, but I'll just have it create this. For example, you can see it's now going to just build the entire app. So I'll wait for this to finish. Now in terms of some of its core features and strengths, some users report impressively fast results. For example, one test saw a full personal portfolio built using Emergent in under 15 minutes, with agents working in parallel on front-end, back-end, deployment and more. It delivered structured, scalable architecture and even authentication flows, all from just prompts. Its architecture stands out too. Separate agents handle design, version control, error debugging and deployment simultaneously. It even integrates tools like GitHub APIs and testing frameworks in the process. And on the simple demo side, NoCode MBA built a virtual try-on app where Emergent created UI, backend logic, image generation, and fixed errors autonomously. Now in terms of the workflow and feel, if everything works out, Emergent can feel like magic. You describe your idea and an invisible team handles the build, debug, and deploy. Building MVPs or internal tools becomes incredibly fast with polished backend and UI scaffolding. So now in about 5 minutes it has now created a first preview of the Netflix clone. So you can see it looks just the same. Now I haven't uploaded any media so it doesn't have the actual videos. But you can already see if you hover over it it's highlighting it. But it is still building it see it's processing the next step. So you can really see that all these agents are doing their own job and you just want to wait for this to fully finish up. It can take maybe 10 minutes but you can see there's already a nice preview right here. And you can also ask it to build things such as, for example, a subscription where they integrate Stripe and people need to create an account to have access to the app. Then you can go to share it, you can publish it, but I'll just wait for this one to finish up. Now, right now I am just building a web app, but you can also use Emergent to build a mobile app. They have the fast and flexible model and stable and thorough. And Emergent is also backed by Y Combinator or YC, which has also backed, for example, Airbnb, Stripe, Instacart, DoorDash, Reddit, Rippling, Deal, and a bunch of massive software companies. And all of these companies are very high quality, and that is what Y Combinator also helps with. So it is definitely a good sign if a company is backed by Y Combinator and Emergent is. Now in the meantime, I've also asked Kate to build me a website for my agency. And you can see in the meantime, while this one is building, it can also build this one. Now you can see on the Netflix app, currently the front end is working. Now it's creating a simple screenshot with a different approach by testing functionality first. So they have a testing agent that is currently running. But you can see if I click on play here on Stranger Things, it actually has the YouTube video right here. Now you can really easily just change stuff by messaging their bot, which is called Neo, and then it will change whatever you ask it to. Now in the meantime, for the website I asked it to make, you can see it looks good, in my opinion at least, and I asked it for a modern website with the sections that I asked about, it has created every single page. Now you can customize it by, for example, asking for custom animations or whatever else you want to add to the website. It's super easy, you can just ask them and they will build it for you, and this will save you a bunch of time compared to just building your website out manually. Then for the Netflix one, it's been about 15 minutes and the testing agent is still running, so it is conducting a lot of tests. Now, of course, rebuilding Netflix is quite a lot of work, so therefore this one is taking a bit longer, but still it only costs about one credit. And you can see you get 10 credits for free when you sign up. Now, if you want to get more, if you pay monthly, the standard plan is $20 and this gets you 100 credits per month with 10 free monthly credits. The pro plan is $200 per month, 
break at 750 monthly credits and a two times bigger machine. You get mobile app development, the ability to build custom agents, system prompt edit, you get ultra thinking and 1 million context window. And team is for if you want to have more people working on the same app basically. So overall is Emergent worth it and is it better than its competitors? I feel like it is similar to for example Lovable but it really comes down to your preference and I do really like the way that Emergent does it with multiple AI agents. For example, right now the testing agent has been testing it for a lot of time, finding mistakes and stuff that doesn't work yet, then basically telling the other agents then they build it while at the same time the testing agent keeps testing. So therefore I do think that Emergent is probably the best AI app builder that I have seen. And especially for websites and more simple stuff, it works very well, but you can also use it with integrations, with databases, and the deployment is super simple. But it can be quite a premium price if you do get one of these more premium plans such as Pro or Team, which may be worth it. For example, on the website, if I ask it to connect to Stripe and add a payment package to my services and just send that, you will see that it is going to try to connect to Stripe you will need to sign in. So you can see it says perfect. Now I have the Stripe integration playbook. Let me first install the required package. So now it will integrate the website with Stripe. And now you can see for the Netflix one, it says quick input needed. So if it has a question, it will ask you, such as some core features that are currently working, the design quality, mock data, and a live demo. And then it will have the questions. So keep as is, the front end with mock data provides a complete Netflix appearance, or add real data. So you can integrate the TMDB API to replace mock data with real movie information, posters, and trailers. Then would you like me to proceed with backend development to integrate real movie data from TMDB API or are you satisfied with the current mock data implementation? So it will ask you questions on what you want to do and then based on that it will start building that. Then for Stripe it says now let me ask you about your service pricing before implementing the payment system. So for example how much it will cost, your visual identity package or for example the brand strategy package. Please provide specific price for each package, any additional packages you would like to offer and the currency preference. So you can see I have now used up all of my credits which were 10 but for just $20 per month you get 100 credits per month and you can build quite a lot of stuff with that. Now to conclude this Emergent AI review, I think it is probably the best AI app builder and I will 100% try it out, especially since you can just try it for free and I think it is very powerful and you can also use it for mobile apps, which is a huge advantage. So I'll leave a link to Emergent down in the description and I would definitely suggest trying it out because in my opinion it is very good. So that concludes this Emergent AI review. If this review helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.